Hi, this is Colleen Grotzer for Creative Pro. Today, I've got a time-saving InDesign tip for you, and that's setting default paragraph styles. Now, you might say, well, why would you want to set paragraph styles, especially when the typefaces and the colors and the styling usually change from project to project? Well, first off, setting them up will save tons of time. And it will make for faster formatting because you don't have to set up all the styles from scratch each time. You'll only have to edit the look of them. But if you follow a style guide, then you can set up a lot of the details in the styles to save even more time. So let's set up a few and let's first look at this basic paragraph. Basic paragraph has a first line indent of a quarter of an inch and let's give it a space after of zero. But let's say we want to have a paragraph that does not indent that we might want to use after headings. So we can create a new paragraph style and let's call that no indent. And what we'll do is base this on the basic paragraph style. And so what that's saying is we want it to be just like this, except what we're going to change. So now we'll come in here and change the first line indent to zero. And any time that an attribute from the basic paragraph style changes, other than what we just said here, that's going to affect that style. And so taking advantage of that based on feature will save a ton of time, especially when you have lots of styles that are based on other styles, because like I said, when you adjust a style that's based on another, it too will change unless you've already set those options in that style. And so next we can create various levels of headings. Heading one, for example, and we can base this on no indent or we can base it on nothing or the basic paragraph. And I'm going to base it on no indent because it's already not indented. And I'm going to change the font and make that semi bold and larger. And if you do any accessibility work like I do, then what you can also do is come in here and set the export tag. So that saves a lot more time too. And then we can go ahead and set up another level of heading, heading two. And maybe we just change the size and the weight. And again, set the export tagging if you're doing any accessibility work. And so you can go on and you can move these around and you can set all kinds of different styles. We could even create a style for a list and base that on the no indent style and then we can go into bullets and numbering and set it to bullets or whatever we want. And, you know, we can change the indent, whatever we want to have by default, we'll just set that here. Now you could also set up styles for table headings and for table cells, and even a style for pull quotes and styles for tables of contents, you know, anything that you're going to regularly need, but you can always re easily remove the unused styles later. And setting all these up is just going to make any document wide styling super simple, but it also makes it really easy to search for a particular style in your document as well. Just don't forget to set the default style that you want to use going forward with new documents. So if you want that to be basic paragraph, just select basic paragraph. And then when you go to open new documents in the future, they will automatically use that style. I'm going to be showing even more tips like this at creative pro week 2021. Information on the event is in the description below. I hope to see you there. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.